Let's have a look at installing the FLIR Cloud application. This could be installed on both iOS and Android mobile devices, as well as PC and Mac computers. The FLIR Cloud is a service platform that allows for instant remote access to your security system from anywhere in the world. Navigate to the FLIR Cloud link for the PC and Mac software. Then navigate to the Downloads tab and find FLIR Cloud software for your computer. Select and download the appropriate software. The default username and password is admin. Once you've logged in with the Remember Me function checked off, you won't need to log in again. Now launch the software. In this instance, the device has automatically been located since the NVR and the computer are on the same local area network or router. But if you need to add a device, simply add device at the bottom of the screen. The add device menu will come up. Add a device name, let's say NVR and your street or your family name if you like. Then add device ID, which is on your NVR. Username and password must be added. The default username and password is admin. On the home page and under the basic tab, there are a number of options. Live view allows you to look at all or a selection of your cameras in real time. Here we have selected three cameras. We have a number of viewing options. On the bottom of the live view page, blue boxes indicate a variety of views available. This helps when you need to isolate one camera as a priority source for security purposes. The last blue box with the pencil icon toggles into the custom layout option where you can build and modify layouts to suit your needs. There is also a long list of aspect options defining both width and height of the viewed images. Let's stick with 16x9 seeing as all our cameras are HD. If you want to make the entire FLIR Cloud menu full frame on your device, simply hit the crossing arrows icon beside the aspect menu arrow. If you have pan, tilt and zoom cameras, the controls are located on the far bottom right corner of the live view menu. Under device on the right column, the NVR IP address and cameras are listed. We have the option of renaming the cameras to make it easier to determine what we are looking at. Right-clicking on the specific camera reveals a flyout menu, and at the bottom is the Modified Channel option. Let's rename two of the cameras. The video image now shows the revised name on the lower left corner. In a large 16 or more camera security system, naming the cameras makes it a lot easier to locate movement when reviewing footage at a later date. Another important option in FLIR Cloud is the playback function. By pressing the checkbox under the device tab on the right side, all cameras are listed and checked. In the bottom right corner, we have the option to select the type of recorded material, either general, alarmed movement, or motion detected, and of course you can select all as an option. You can select between the mainstream or a substream. Mainstream is the highest video quality and is the stream recorded on your DVR or NVR. Substream is a lower video quality used to stream video to computers, smartphones or tablets over the internet. Under the View tab we also have a selection range. A From selection denoted as the year, month, day and time, in this case displayed as a 24 hour clock. Once we pick a from and to time, in this case the entire day, bars are shown on the 24 hour clock timeline. By hovering and clicking over specific green bars, the general recordings, we can see the time on the bar and an image above. By expanding the magnification, we can zoom into specific areas. We can also sync selected tracks using the sync button. All three cameras are lined up. We can then hit the play button if we choose. With the slider we have the option to play back up to four times normal speed. As in the live view tab, we also have a split screen option in the playback tab. This also includes the custom split screen option. The full screen icon button allows us to make the entire menu full screen on our computer or device. 
under the playback tab, we also have the option of selecting a range of video we can download to our computer. By using the scissor icon on the far right, we press it once to select the start point, then move the mouse to the out position for our selection and press the scissors again. A red section is shown highlighting the desired range. An export setup menu pops open where we can pick the destination of the file and the format we wish to output. A checkbox option for downloading the video player is displayed. As well, there's an estimation of the free space required for the file. Press OK and a download menu appears showing the start and end time and the status of the export. Once the export is complete, we can see the file in our chosen folder. If we switch from the record button in blue, bottom left, and select event button, we get a comprehensive list of all movements or events during our selected range of time. This includes the channel name, the type of recording, the start time, and duration in minutes. The event list also indicates the file length or size in megabytes. FLIR Cloud is a very comprehensive and powerful app that can be an invaluable tool to monitoring your security system from virtually anywhere.